بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ یو آر فائن آئی ایم یور کمپیوٹر ٹیچر شاہ پاس علی ٹو ڈے وی کور آور ٹاپک دیٹ از اباؤٹ کریٹنگ ٹیبلس ٹو ڈے وی لرن ہاؤ ٹو کریٹ اے ٹیبل ان ایس ٹی ایم ایل سو اسٹوڈنٹس فار کریٹنگ اے ٹیبل ان ایس ٹی ایم ایل لینگویج وی ول یوز ٹیبل ٹیگ ناؤ اف یو وانٹ ٹو ڈیفائن اے ٹیبل رو we will use tr tag that means table row same if you want to define a header table header then we will use th tag that means table header same if you want to define a table data then we will use the td tag that means table data table data is also called cell table cell so students this is the sample code of our this table we also do the practical of this let's firstly understand this code here you can see for creating a table we will use the table tag here we have a table tag and for creating a table defining a table row we will use tr tag and in the tr tag we have three different headings that is first name last name and age these three we will define in the th tag that means table heading that is why this text is little bit bold now next row table row the first data is ali here you can see ali the second data is ahmed and the third data is 50 and again row we will take another row for defining the tr tag a new row is defined now if want to define a data we will use table tag that is usman and again table data that is ali and again table data that is 60 so students let's do the practical of this this is our editor in which we are writing our code you can also use the text document so for creating a table we will use the table tag here this is our table tag and the table tag we will define a row for defining a row we will use the tr tag that means table row and the table row our first heading is first name the heading is initialized with the th tag that means table heading and the second heading is last name and the third heading is age so here you can see i am also show you the output this are output file i am saving this and then refresh this page can see but there is no border so for creating a border we will use here border in the table tag we will initialize the attribute in the second row we have some data the first is ali second is ahmed and the age is 50 and again we have a one other row so same for creating a row we will use tr tag that means table row and the first data is usman the next is uh, ali and the third is 16 so student this is our table code so i am going to the output file here this is our output file so i am refreshing this page you can see here this is our table so students now next is applying the following table attributes so students call spam to make a cell spam more than one columns will use the call spam attribute call spam attribute is basically merge two or more columns into one columns here you can see here we have two different columns this is one column this is the second column but in the telephone row you can see these two columns merge into one so we will also do this in the tables so for creating this first we will create a table here this is a table tag and the first row will initialize the 
first heading is name and the second heading is telephone but you can see here the second heading attribute is call span is equal to 2 it means two columns merge into one now the next data is the Ali Ahmed will assigning a data we will use the TD tag that means table data then second data and the third so we also do the practical of this the so same for creating a table we will use the table tag and in the table tag uh, we have a uh, first is heading that means th firstly tr row initialize the row then in the row we have heading the first heading is uh, about the name and in the second heading we will initialize the telephone but telephone is here we initialize the attribute call spam is equal to 2 so here 2 columns merge into 1 so here we are initializing the another row tr table row and its data is td that initialize the table data and the data is uh, Ali Ahmed and its phone number is in the table data that is uh, initialize 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and again table data that is 9876543215 so here i am saving and refreshing this page so here you can see but here a little bit difference so i am changing this firstly i will initialize the define the attribute here that is border border is equal to 1 and uh, here i am separating these two columns with the heading tag uh, horizontal so I am saving and refreshing this page you can see here this two table is separated now so I am uh, assigning the here a uh, heading for creating a heading we will use the h1 tag so here I am signing the call span so I am saving and refreshing this page you can see here this is a heading called span so here I am also giving the heading here so heading is uh, example table so i'm saving and refreshing this page you can see here so here our next topic is uh, apply so the next is row spam so students to make a cell spam more than one row so it's here we have out firstly i will show you the output here you can see we have two rows and these two rows are merged into one so we will do the practical of this this is a code file you can see this is a table attributes and that is a table data here you can see this is a table row this is a first heading and its data and the second row this is a heading and the attribute defined here row spam true and this is uh, its data and this is uh, another data let's do the practical of this here i am defining another table firstly i am maximizing this and the table and students uh, here we have a heading that is about the table row here you can see firstly i am initializing the row and in the row we will initialize the table heading and table heading that is name and uh, in the second heading its data is uh, Ali Ahmed now second row is uh, here we have for heading is uh, table heading th tag and the th tag we will assigning the telephone and here I am giving the attribute that is a uh, row spam is equal to 2 and its data is uh, td so here data is uh, assigning a number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so here i am assigning another row tr means row and its data is uh, any number you can assign there so i am saving and refreshing Firstly, I also I am defining the attribute here that is border is equal to 1 and I am separating this table from our previous table for separating we will use the header horizontal row so I am 
saving and refreshing my page you can see here sorry i am refreshing this so i am also giving the heading to our this table so for giving the heading we we'll use the h1 tag so here row span so the student this is our code and this is our output file i am zooming maximizing this and refreshing this page you can see here so our example table this is a row call, call spam in the call spam you can see here these two call merge into one columns and in the row spam you can see here these two rows merge into one row so students let's do the activity of 5.6 now students we will create this tables so for creating this tables let's do it so again for creating the tables again i am using a table tag first i am separating this that is a table tag so in the table tag here we have first row and the first row we have heading the first heading is about the province and the second heading is a city and the third heading is the population so this is our heading and uh, now we are defining the second row so in the second row the first data is the uh, Balochistan and next data is uh, Koita and the uh, one empty so for here we are signing the empty data tag so next row is about the TR row then in the table row we have first data is uh, about punjab and we can see here the punjab table is uh, attribute is four rows are merged into one row so for assigning this we will assign a row spam attribute and here i am assigning the four and the next is table data that is lahore and the next is empty data cell so for assigning the empty we will use the td tag that will assign a, a simple empty cell now students second row is here i am also show you the output of our tables you can see this output uh, i am some changing in this table so firstly i am assigning the border here so border is one and uh, separating this uh, so i am saving and refreshing and also assigning the heading here that is uh, heading activity 5.6 so i am saving you can see here and refreshing this page so here this is our output this is defined till now students here i am saving now initializing the another row so for assigning another row we will assign here table row and its a first data is uh, faisalabad table data faisalabad and the second is empty data so initialize empty and next row is uh, table row and this data is uh, rawalpindi and one empty data cell the spool down i am next is the table row and its data is a gujarat wala spelling mistake here gujarat wala and the one empty cell so for assigning the one empty cell we will just now use the td tag and the next is uh, saving and refreshing this you can see here this is our output file you can see 
these four rows are merged into one it's called pole span now another row is signing so here we have a next is a again row and its data is a first is table data and the data is about the sin and its attribute is row spam is equal to 3 so I am saving and it's the second first data is the td Karachi and then empty tag here next table row table data is uh, Hyderabad and the empty cell last row is our table data that is uh, suffer and the table data again I'm saving and refreshing this page you can see here I'm refreshing this page this is our output you can see here as given in activity 5.6 we will perform this activity and this is our same from our book output result so students I hope you understand well our today lectures and if you have any questions any query you can ask me I will give you answer as soon as possible so take care Allah Hafiz